SPRO configuration reference IMG. <coughs> let's let's dig into something more of uh, depth ledgers. We have already assigned fiscal year variants. Let's see that. Uh, T59X, T59X, K4, save, uh, bulls and bears. Okay, we have assigned the fiscal year variant. Now, fiscal year variant, what is fiscal year variant? Let's uh, look into it. Fiscal year variant. Now, there are multiple fiscal year variants, July to June, April to March, um, and there is one which is January to December. Anywhere we see uh, January to December, like for example, this is January to December. So this is calendar year, year dependent. Year dependent means that it is specific to an year. Okay. For example, 2023 will have specific Sundays, Saturdays and days that will be year dependent. Okay. So by default, we have K4, which has 12 periods, which are for posting and four special periods for adjustment postings. Now, adjustments by adjustments, I mean like unposted invoices, reconciliation, unplanned depreciation, bank reconciliation, taxes, withholding taxes, payables, um, retained earnings posting, that are special transactions and that are actually carried out in the last days and weeks of the year end and month end. Okay, so our fiscal year variant will have K4, which is assigned, we've already assigned it. Okay, uh, speaking of the posting periods, we've already seen that. Let's see, T59X, T59X is not there. <clears throat> T59X, T59X posting period variant. Now, what is this variant? First of all, this variant is basically allow, these variants actually allow you to post in open periods, okay? But how do we post it? Let's see that. We have defined it. Now we will assign these variants. Position. T59X, T59X is our company code. Now, I've already told what is a company code, an entity, an organizational unit, which can publish its own financial statements, okay? T59X will require a posting period variant. Now, what is a posting period? Let me show you that. Okay, now in company code, I have the variant for posting, posting periods T59X. Now, what is an opening, uh, what is an posting period? Let me just show you that. For example, um, I'll go to position AA42 because we have maintained this. AA42 and copy as and T59X. T59X. Okay. Now, what is basically posting periods? Now, posting period variant, which we have already assigned to the company, requires and allows posting from period one of 2023 to last period of 2023. And these are the four special periods that I told you in fiscal year variant 13 to 16 for adjustments. Now, what is this plus A, D, K, M, S? Plus means every segment of 
or every sub element of financial accounting, which is assets, customers, vendors, material, GL. So all of the asset accounts starting from the empty range to the full range, a, uh, that is empty to the last range, are allowed to post entries from 1 to 12. Although the practice is to keep this as 1 to 1. If the month changes, it will become 2 to 2. That is the best industry practice. Okay. But since for the training uh, purposes, we actually keep all the months of the year open and we will save it. Okay. This is important posting period variant. Now, after this, we have a next crucial step, which is. Financial accounting, GL accounting, general ledger, master data, GL accounts, preparations, because we are going to create GL accounts after uh, uh, after our configuration. So we will have to first prepare our chart of accounts. <clears throat> now chart of accounts, what is chart of accounts? It's group of accounts. So I'll press new entry so that I can make my own chart of accounts t59x bulls and bears co chart of accounts L maintenance language will be english length of gl will be five and we can also give them a group chart of accounts if our companies are related but for that we'll have to have a controlling area now what is a controlling area i'll tell you later now i have a chart of accounts which is same as the company code name because i'm keeping the code synchronized it helps me remember the names okay assign company code to chart of accounts i'll go to position T59X. Now this T59X, again, I have already made uh, uh, the chart of accounts with the same name T59X. I will save it. <clears throat> now, since I have already made chart of accounts, I've also assigned to the company. Now I will make an account group. Now what is an account group? Here we actually make the group of accounts so i'll take double a 42 just to save time and i will copy all these and then i will explain what these segments are okay double a 42 copy as t59x T59X. Okay. Now control Y. My mouse pointer actually changes into a plus sign. I will keep it over here. And control C. Now from here I can paste it. Okay, now <clears throat> in my chart of accounts, I will have segments for different heads for GL accounts. For example, zero balance. We will talk about zero balance in the later lectures. I have given the numbering range from account to account. I can make zero balance accounts. I can make HR accounts from this series to this series. I can make miscellaneous accounts, HR accounts. Um, Material, material, material accounts. There are material accounts. Okay, I have given the numbering range. Now, this range is actually provided to you by the client. Okay, maximum number of GL account number can be 10. Okay, but we have actually kept it to 5. Normally, the practice is 5 to 6, maximum 7, not more than that, but 10 is maximum. And the number of uh, parent and child segments in chart of accounts can be maximum five to six that's it for example uh, if i take up uh, material accounts so i will have accounts as per my material type like raw material semi-finished goods finished goods okay these are three 
uh, uh, three subtypes, but those subtypes can have can have extensions like raw material will have chemical raw material, packaging raw material, uh, GRIR for packaging raw material, then returns, uh, uh, re reversals in GRIR um, that for packaging for chemical. And that's how I can segment it. Or if I talk about liquid funds, liquid funds can be cash and bank accounts. Cash and bank account, save. Data was saved. Okay, now cash and bank, for example, can have multiple extensions like a uh, bank will have financing account, savings account, current account, running finance account, overdraft account, um, overseas banking, credit card, and that with each bank will require like five to six extensions. So you can actually make that salary account, vendor accounts, okay, USD account, PKR account. So you can have segments that can be a, a reach to five extensions. By five extensions means uh, if I have five extensions, I will have to increase the number of these digits, okay? So we actually keep it the minimum. Now we have actually done that. The next step is retained earnings account. Retained earnings account in T59X, X, and that will be 20,000. Now, 20,000, it says account is not created in chart of accounts, which means a physical GL account is not yet created. So this is a orange warning, which I can skip by pressing enter and it will go away because it's just a warning, not an error. Save. So later on, I can make this retained earnings account, which we can make right now. If we go back, FS double zero. <clears throat> okay, over here, what I'll do, I'll say 20,000 company code T59X. Field status variant is still not assigned. Okay, fine. So what we'll do, SPRO, no, SPRO, okay, field status variance, financial accounting, global setting, ledgers, fields, Field status variants. Now, what are field status variants? I'll explain in a while in a bit. But let's first assign it to company code and then we'll make a GL account and then I'll explain what is a field status variant. Okay. Okay. Triple zero one copy as now this uh D59X. Uh triple zero one is by default a uh, uh, uh a prototype provided by SAP by default. So we can actually use its um, details. Now, what is copy all? Continue. T59X field status group, double click. Now, for example, if I want to make a retained earnings account, Okay, retained earnings account will have certain fields and checks. Checks will be like, for example, if I go to general data, okay, it will have some fields which will be hidden, some fields will be required, mandatory, and some will be optional. For example, text and assignment number. Okay, uh, page down, period of performance is hidden. Okay, I go back, account assignments. Over here, we have all the fields hidden. So what I'll do, I'll go to cost accounts, G04, double click, 
over here additional cost assignments will have cost center as optional so what i'll do g04 copy as g002 g002 with cost center required okay g02 double click additional account assignment cost center will be required save now where do we see its implications and influence we'll check that in a while okay now let's actually go and make slash n is new session accounting this is front end financial accounting general ledger master records gl individual processing individual processing mean single account that you want to make centrally chart of accounts company code i'll explain this in a while centrally centrally means that it is available to all the chart of accounts and company codes new this button is for new this is for display this is for change this is for copy lock delete change of company code refresh print okay 20000 p59x oh, oh oh we have not assigned another mistake let's go back to spro spro is our configuration node you can see the t code from here spro okay financial accounting global setting ledger uh, sorry not fiscal year ledger uh, sorry fields fields assign company code to field status variants position t59x t59x is our field status variant save save okay slash n means new session and fs00 is gl master data t code okay new 20000t59x now it will allow me to create the gl account and it has actually given me gl account type will be balance sheet account because we are going to make a retained earnings account equity <clears throat> retained earnings retained earnings okay now i have given the name long text short text let's go to control data control data over here our account currency of the gl account this one will be in aed company code is made now we are making the gl account balances in local currency only now this is basically for balance sheet accounts that we want to create and maintain in local currency which is aed okay tax category tax category can be let's keep it empty in sap we have recon reconciliation account for four account types as assets customers vendors contract receivable we'll keep it empty because this is not a reconciliation account open item management we'll discuss this later and the sort key as well later on create bank interest tab over here field status that field status variant that we just explained oh okay 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 uh g001 g01 which is general we already saw that in that assignment and text field will be available to us since retained earnings account is not a manual account we can adjust it as a post automatically only gl account and we will save it okay that's how you make a gl account now what is a field status variant let me go over that in this discussion for example uh f-02 f-02 this is a transaction to enter gl account posting what i will do 01 11 2023 uh 2023 11 01 okay over here the type 
This is document type. Now, this document types are various in SAP. Let me explain. I'll explain everything bit by bit so that you can establish the understanding for each and every part of SAP. Okay. So, right now, we are not posting in assets. We are posting in, in the GL, which is GL account document or GL account posting. Uh, there is also another account type for accounting document, which is AB. And we have uh, SA, SB, okay? And we have adjustment document, SU. And uh, so for every module posting, we have document types. Asset posting for assets, customer document for customers. For vendor invoice, we have KR. For vendor payment, we have KZ. Z, whenever you come across in SAP, will mean payment. It can be a payment for customer, which is DZ, okay? D is denoted with customer, okay? It is associated with customer. Vendor credit demo, a memo is KG. And material, <clears throat> material document have their own documents types as well. For example, let me show you that. A good receipt, good issue, good receipt, WA, WE, and so on. Okay, so that's how document types are actually segmented as per the submodules. Now, scroll down, posting key is 40 for GL account. AA42 PKR. 40 is, what is 40? This is posting key, what is 40? Let me just explain first what we are doing, then I'll explain later. Okay, amount 2000. Now, field status variant basically dictates and controls the use of these fields, whether these fields are mandatory, hidden, or optional. Since because this can be left empty, so these are optional fields. Okay. 50, 10101. Enter star 2000 and it copies whenever I actually write a star, it copies. Okay, display document overview. Now, my document debit and credit is done. So, if you look at it, debits are 2000, credits are 2000. The balance, if any, is there is difference that is zero. So, I can post it because it has a zero difference. So, 40 posting key and 50 for other posting key. Let's see the other posting key. Zero two line item. Zero two line item credit entry 50. So what is this 50 and 40? I'll go to document overview and posting key. I will. Okay. Over here, if you see, let's come down and see what is 40 and 50. 40 is debit for GL. 50 is credit for GL. C for credit, D for debit. Okay. Zero 01 is debit for invoice of customer. 11 is the credit memo for credit for customer. And reverse invoice is credit for customer with 12. And for vendors, let's see, it's 31, which is credit to vendor, and 21, debit to vendor with 21, credit number, okay? So for every module, there are separate posting keys for debits and credits. If you see GL, price difference, consumption, change in stock, GR, IR, debit, okay? They are in debits for with different posting keys. Okay. This is M is for material. M is for material. A is for asset. Okay. So this actually gives you a perspective that SAP handles and controls postings, transactions, adjustments using posting keys. Okay. Now I will, what I'll do, document, simulate. Okay, this is simulation and I will 
पोस्टेड दिस इज पोस्टेड वन जीरो फोर्टीन डॉक्यूमेंट डिस्प्ले Now, as you see, company code is double eight four two. This is just for example, for understanding sake. Posting key is forty and fifty. Three zero two zero one is account for petty expense, petty cash. Two thousand is posted in debits and credits. Now, these are the field which are basically mandated, supervised, and controlled by field status variants. You can also change these. Uh, change layout. You can also change the layout. Like for example, uh, amount two in freely defined currency, I don't want this. So I will just push it out to the right. I hope this is clear, Bilal sir. This is uh, since uh, this is your first session. Nothing to worry about. We have not lost anything at mm -hmm. all. We just started with configuration, and the configuration is also on a very light mode. So don't worry. Yes, yes. Just type out that. Shall I?